Hey there, Travis, Dev Tips. In the last video, we spent a lot of time getting our development environment right. It's really important to enjoy your workspace and your tools, but now we need to spend about 10 minutes making sure that the file structure of this project that we downloaded while getting our environment right, thank you Shaky Shane, we need to make sure that the files in this project are exactly the way we want them also. So we've got some cleaning to do. This is like literally right where I left off. Uh, okay, I guess let's just start here. This is the uh, layouts uh, default.html file in my layout. So this is gonna be like the header and the footer basically. And this is a header and footer that I didn't create and I don't want. I didn't plan for them, they're not mine, I don't care about them. So let me get rid of them. And they're stupid, <laughs> not stupid. They're all tabbed wrong and stuff. So uh, let me just re-tab all of these things. Okay. Now in Jekyll, this little content tag is gonna be key. So I'm gonna set up the header, <clears throat> actually the, it's not the header, it's the head. The head tag and the body is, in, in my mind, is just gonna be a naked body and I'm gonna inject all the content I want there it, using partials um, that I write in Jade. And I may come back here and stick in, you know, like um, links to JS files and things like that, but you know, whatever, a good starting place for, for uh, the default template. Cleaned out most of the garbage here. Uh, next, let's go into the let's go into the SAS. We have the CSS here. Let's put it into our uh, gulp task here, and actually, let's just rename this project too. And we're going to call it Design Plus uh, Code. That's what this that's what this uh, series is called. So. <clears throat> A CD out of that and then CD into desktop design. Cool, that makes me happier. Now it's called design plus code. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into my tools and get rid of reset. I didn't like it, I don't want it, I don't even know why it's there. So basically I have, if you look at all of this, I have zero uh, SAS except for, I can even delete this, except for this main dot S CSS and it's just importing that whatever uh, So let's go into tools and add those tools. The first thing that we want is normalize I'm going to search for that Normalize.css so You can install it with npm which might be interesting, but I don't really want it as a package I just want it as a you know plain old CSS file. So I'm going to download and save link as uh, designing code, I'm going to put it in assets, CSS, tools. And kerplunk, there it goes. Okay, now it's here in my tools. I'm going to refresh my tools. Normalize. I'm going to change it quickly to S uh, CSS so that I can import it. The reason I did S CSS instead of trying to change it to SAS is because it's already written in CSS and S CSS is a subset of SAS and blah, 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 so that I can import it. So tools, normal, eyes, z, <clears throat> and save that. The other thing I want to import is uh, bourbon. Bourbon, and you import the whole folder, and then the uh, file you want to target inside of the folder, bourbon is bourbon. So, so tools in um, bourbon, bourbon. So I'm going to go into uh, my terminal and... Uh, CD into, what is this, assets, CSS, 0-tools, zero, uh, zero and then I'll say, um, if you don't have bourbon already, you, you'd write uh, sudo gem install bourbon, and that would install it on your machine. It's installing apparently. I already have it, but whatever. Uh, and then, oops, not done. Okay, now it's done. Two gems installed. I wonder if my bourbon was out of date. Bourbon dash V. Huh, whatever. Okay, I already have bourbon, so now that I'm in tools, I'm going to say bourbon install. 
now it'll basically just install a new directory into tools. Uh, refresh this folder. Yeah. And this file here, bourbon, is the one when I'm importing right here. Ooh, that's spelled wrong. B O U R burn. Okay, bourbon. Cool. What else do I need in my tools? I think that's it for my tools. For my base, uh, there's a few files that I want here. Let's create a new file and I'll say underscore base. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna fill in my base and then let's take a look at what, what does my normal base look like. Uh, go to GitHub and take a look at the um, Oh, go to the dev tips. Take a look at the, what is it? Starter kit, assets, CSS, base, base index, vars. All right, so my normal base is just like some, yeah, it's like some paragraphs and some links and stuff. I'll just grab this stuff. Okay, that's good. That's good for base, good base. And then the other one, vars, is, is like where I stash the, uh, the variables for that. I'll just put those at the top. No, I'll put them in vars. Uh, new file, underscore vars dot sass. Okay, two files in the base files and tools and modules are going to make as we make them and as we need them and main okay so that's that's pretty good for our assets let's run cd uh, dash 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 i think that's no cd dot dot okay now we're in designing code again let's uh let's run gulp let's see what we get we get any errors is what I'm looking for. All right, I'm noticing that it says by here, and that's it. Uh, let me inspect the element. Inspect the element. And here's style sheets. Main is not working. Why is main not working? No, I see that, that SAS didn't compile. I wonder if that has anything to do with our watch statements down here. Oh, here we are. Ah, see the SAS watch is for, um, so it won't compile any SAS unless underscore SCSS is changed. So that's wrong. It needs to be something more like assets. Um, what is it? CSS and then kind of basically anything in there, right? All right, let's quit our server and then regulp stuff here. So main.css is working. I can come in here to it and go into like, for example, base or go into vars. Let's see here. And change the background color from this to light blue. And then there you are, light blue, right? Perfect. And change it back. There we are. Perfect again. Two perfects in a row. That's fast too. Gosh, 48 milliseconds. That's so fast. Uh, all right, let's look what else we wanted to change and get ready for our big debut in the next video. Our config file. Uh, we're going to name this site. Well, it's just my site, so call Travis Nielsen. And markdown, we don't do any. Well, markdown, that's fine. Highlighter, nah. Exclude and index. Cool. Wow, what a night. It is literally one o'clock in the morning for me. All right, thanks for watching these videos. We're in a good place now. Our tools are working, our project is clean. We're ready to make babies at websites. Dang, every time. Hey. This is the part where I thank my patrons. Patrons are the wonderful, generous people who make these videos possible. These are the patrons right there. 
Now, as patrons of the Dev Tips uh, show, they receive special uh, special treatments. You know, they could watch these shows a few days early, and they also get to see bonus videos that I don't post to the regular the regular channel here. So it's quite nice for them. And if you want to learn more about the benefits of being a patron, please check out patreon.com slash dev tips. And if you want to support the show uh, for people who get the benefit of it, maybe not even yourself, just be a little bit more altruistic, then maybe that's a good option for you. I'd love to have you in the, in the dev tips patron community. So please check that out. And uh, keep on hacking. We'll talk to you soon.